how you doing? This is Joey Vera from Armored Saint and Fate's Warning. I'm uh, here today. I get uh, asked sometimes about how I set up my guitar and some little idiosyncrasies that I have about it. Um, so I'm going to talk about how I uh, string it, put new strings on, and as you can see it doesn't have strings. So I'm going to put new strings on it and uh, tuning and stretching. These are just my kind of quirks, the way that I do it. There's a bunch of different ways to do these things, but uh, these are some method methods that uh, work for me. They're not right for everybody, I suppose, but this is the way I do it. Um, first of all, I play a Fender P bass. This is American Fender P bass. I have uh, kind of um, modified it a little bit. I put in um, EMG Active Pickups, I, uh, which is a PJ configuration. It has the, the P bass uh, pickups here, but it also has a jazz bass back in the bridge position. Um, I don't know if you can see, but uh, this is a custom uh, custom pick guard that I put on myself. Uh, someone, I, I bought this separate, but um, I do a modification here uh, at the, for a thumb rest for myself. So I can uh, rest my thumb over the pickup, um, over the uh, pick guard, and back here on this back pickup as well. And sometimes I play up here as well. Um, this crack here is courtesy of American Airlines, and um, I use um, I use a bridge by a company called Babich. It's B A B I C Z, and they have a, a line called Full Contact Hardware. And so I'll talk about that in another video maybe because um, it's really cool product, uh, a little bit different than the standard bridges you may have seen. So um, let's change some strings. First of all, there's a bunch of different ways to do it. Um, this is a quirky kind of way that I change strings. As you can see, I've taken them all off all at once. Some people think that you have to uh, maintain tension on the neck while you're changing strings, so they do it one at a time. In other words, they take an old string off on the bottom, put that new string on, go to the next one, etc., etc. But I don't really think that it matters that much, if, especially if you're you're not in an environment where the weather is completely, you know, torrential and it's going to warp your neck. As long as the guitar is sane, sane and solid, and it's not going to matter taking them all off at once. I just take them all off at once and put four new ones at the same. Put them all at once. Plus, it's a lot quicker. Uh, if you're on tour and you're gigging or something like that, just change them all at once. It's much quicker. Um, these are the strings that I use. Been using these for many years, many many years. They're the best sounding string, best feeling string um, I've come across in a long, all the years I've been playing. Uh, DR handmade strings. I use the high beams. This is a steel string, uh, stainless steel round wound. Uh, the gauge that I use is uh, 45 to 105. It's pretty much like a standard gauge set 45 to 105 uh, and these are great strings okay so like I said before there's uh, a couple of ways to, to put strings on um, most people do it uh, the traditional way is to put the string the end of the string right into this hole on the post and then wrap the string around it winding down as you go um, I don't do it that way. I've found that uh, sometimes if you don't pull enough tension on it after you've tuned it and uh, stressed it a little bit, that it does tend to slip a bit up here at the post. And um, I've worked with guitar techs who have done, that, done it this way, the traditional way, and I've gotten the guitar and halfway through the song, uh, the string goes out of tune. So um, a little bit frustrating when that happens. Um, so I have this method of uh, wrapping the string around the post itself and locking the string within itself around the post. It doesn't use this, uh, this hole in the middle. Now some techs uh, do this very well. 
Uh, I mean, the traditional way. They just tune the guitar, then they do it the, the traditional way. They give me the guitar, it stays in tune. I have, and then everything's, everything's happy. No, no tuning issues. I just keep my mouth shut. He's doing his job right, and it's cool. Um, but if there seems to be an issue with the strings going out, I will show them uh, this way that I do it. And um, I never have any problem with the string going out of tune once it's in tune and stretched a little bit. Um, so that's the way, I, that's why I do it this way. So um, I'm going to show you that right now. Okay, so I've put the string through the bridge already and um, coming up to this uh, pole at the headstock I lay the string across this uh, this little valve, this uh, slot here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap the string clockwise around the pole and under the string and then I'm going to fold it over it and pull this down then I put the string under the tree here wind it up and winding with the bottommost part being the newest part to, s to go around the post we'll do another one Okay, here's another one. Got the post kind of, uh, you know, at a, you know, 45 degree perpendicular to me. And uh, string goes over it. And this is about how much I leave out to give the enough wind. Clockwise around and under. Oops. clockwise around under the string and then fold back over and this comes down towards you under the tree and I like to have at least the string go around at least twice it doesn't need to go much more than that twice is good this excess I'll chop off later Okay, all the strings are on. Looks like a mess right now, so I'm just going to clip these off. I will do it about a quarter of an inch to half an inch and uh, push them down after they're done. And being careful not cutting anything you're not supposed to, which I have done. Alright, that's it. Now we tune.